way Ashok is, but I think on behalf of uh, the Nath family uh, and all of us, we're very privileged to be part of this particular event every year. Uh, 20 years ago or so, I stumbled upon Anubhav Nath. Uh, he had sponsored one of our street kids from Salam Balak Trust, Vicky Roy, uh, to be mentored in photography. Vicky Roy had run away from home at the age of eight. He had come to Salam Balak Trust. And when he was in his 10th standard, his teacher, uh, uh, A.K. Tiwari, said to him, they hope padai is not your scene. Studies is not necessarily your scene. So pick up something else. Pick up another um, a, a profession. Vicky was inspired by another child, Haran, who went on to become a great photographer, very famous photographer. So Vicky started uh, apprenticing with a number of people, Anayman, uh, and Aditya, etc. And he was one of the four young people to be selected to record the rebuilding of the World Trade Center. And Anubhav has this uncanny eye and knack of able to, being able to pick up artists uh, and create absolute magic. Uh, at Ojas Art, which is now about 20 odd years old, uh, he has been able to showcase the most amazing art from traditional artists from across India. Ten years ago, we decided that we would institute uh, this award or this occasion to celebrate uh, India's incredible traditional art techniques. Last year, uh, Anubhav and Ojas Art and Devyani decided that they wanted to move beyond just presenting an award. And this year, they created what you've seen outside before stepping into the hall, the Vishwarupa, which Anubhav will, will talk you through what it's about, by bringing together two very eminent uh, traditional artists from two different traditional forms and a contemporary artist to create this vision, which we hope we can now take this around the world to talk about and showcase some of the best art that we have. If all of you know Australian art, which today sells for tens of thousands of dollars, uh, in many ways, Australian art became at the forefront of the traditional art market. In India, we're still in a very nascent phase. There are some wonderful artists doing really good work, uh, but there is much more to be done. In Madhya Pradesh alone, uh, there is just so many different forms of art. Uh, leave alone every part of the country which has its own tradition, own way of creating this. And remember at the end of the day, all of the art that you see created by these magicians are both eco-friendly and reflect a culture and a world. It's only recently you're seeing this art now projected as visual work on canvas. Much of the work was about celebration in the home, in the community, in the space that we inhabit, not necessarily being hum, hung up as, as pieces of beauty or as collections as we're seeing it. Uh, so I think on behalf of JLF, uh, the Jaipal Richa Festival, uh, a big thank you to Ojas Art for bringing to us uh, this wonderful initiative uh, which we, we continue to support and believe in and create these platforms. And I do hope Kochi Biennale, of course, is going on right now for those of you who visited or not visited. But we hope, do hope that the art movement in Rajasthan and Jaipur will continue to grow all across the venue. Look around, you'll see pieces of art installation at every point. And the idea of that, whether it's the Rajasthani fad that you will see in the front lawn, or the more contemporary pieces that you'll see using recycled paper cups or, or the hands, etc., as you're walking down towards the guest delegate lounge or even outside here on the lawn, all of this is created in collaborative ways with local artists and artists who are coming together. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Anubhav Nath, who's going to take us through this presentation and talk us through 
Vishwarupa, which is really the celebration of art and our connection with earth and uh, 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 the earth and the universe as we know it, not just in the physical plane, but also in the intellectual, philosophical, and spiritual plane. Thank you. Anubhav. Thank you, Sonjoy, for that very generous introduction. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our annual session. As Sonjoy mentioned, this is an annual tradition for almost 10 years now, where we present what we've done over the last year or two and uh, walk you through our journey in the indigenous arts. Thank you for joining us here. With that, I would like to start with an announcement, which will come onto the screen very soon. The uh, first video, please, the announcement video. Okay, if we can, uh, let's start with the presentation, not a problem. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we started with the Ojas Art Award, which was a journey where we recognized different genres of the tribal and traditional arts, uh, the indigenous arts, and starting with Gond Art in 2015, where we were able to recognize uh, Bhaju Sham, Venkat Sham, and Roshni Vyam. Uh, Bhaju, who is also going to be speaking with us soon, was, went on to get the Padma Shri in 2018, becoming the first Gond artist to have been accorded this honor. And soon after, uh, Bhaju was also part of the street art residency program in Delhi, followed by a solo exhibition that we just had at the gallery recently. And there is like a lot of other milestones that are there between those from 2015 to 22 as well. Uh, next, we looked at Madhubani art, and we had with us we have with us Santosh Kumar Dasji, whom we recognized as the uh, master artist. He's also part of the Vishwarupa project that you saw outside as you entered the hall. Uh, last year, the India Art Fair, Santosh Kumar Dasji became the first indigenous living artist to have a solo booth there, which was immensely popular. Uh, we had Bheel art; that's the next genre we looked into. Uh, Ladubai was the recipient of the Tulsi Samman by the government of Madhya Pradesh. Recently, we had another solo show of hers. So the idea being that uh, by presenting the indigenous arts in a way that we are able to elevate them and make them in tune with the contemporary times and with contemporary art. So the whole purpose is to like try and bridge the gap as much as we can and as soon as possible. Uh, Patachitra art from Bengal, that's another genre we explored. Varli art, where uh, we recognize the Vaida brothers who have gone on to have a career trajectory of their own with them participating in various binales and trinales across the world. Again, also the uh, street art residency in Delhi. This was our award where we worked with the Odisha Patachitra art category. Uh, this was last year where we recognized Durga Bai Vyam for her contribution to Gond art and soon after she was felicitated by the Padma Shri in the same year, making her the first uh, female Gond artist to have been accorded this honor. Uh, this is a work that, so every year we also do installations across the festival. Uh, this year what we have on is the private poem by Manjunath Kamath, which is right at the entry. We request you to stand there, uh, to stop by, write a poem to the artist, decipher what you see from his poem. Uh, thank you for your time. And so all of this has led to some really marvelous things that have happened for, not just for us, but for also the category. And um, is the video available now? The announcement video, video one?
So this is the Vishwarupa. Yeah. So yeah, that's the announcement, uh, which the Ojas Art Awards actually has led to this happening. Thank you. So the Art Institute of Chicago acquired some major works from us uh, by Santosh Kumar Das and uh, Mayur and Tushar Vaida, and that's what the announcement was about. And it, was, it has been a journey of about 10 years where we have developed it step by step, and all the efforts and the holistic uh, promotion that we were able to do for the sector has actually led to an acquisition like this happening. And everyone who's been here in the festival, at the festival has been supporting us in multiple and myriad ways. And we hope that in future, we would be able to take the sector further ahead. And with that, I would now request Mani to come back and tell us a little bit about the panel and about the Vishwarupa artwork that is that you saw as you entered the, uh, the auditorium. Thank you. Thank you, Anubhav, and thank you, Ojasat, for empowering the artist and help them flourish. So you all have seen this beautiful artwork which has been displayed outside Darbar Hall. Sonjay has said a few things, but I'll tell you. And you've seen the video, how this process, how this artwork had taken place. So three artists have reimagined the Vishwarupa based on nature and her elements. There's an amalgamation of Bhaju Shyam's Gond art, Santosh Kumar Das Mithila, and Manju Kamath's signature style. This is a result of multiple conversations with the artist and was initiated over a two week long workshop in Delhi, which you saw in the video. The artist, this artwork is quite huge. It's like eight feet in high width and 12 feet in height, and it's made on a mostly paper, mainly using ink. So with this, I'll introduce the artist who have worked on this beautiful, beautiful artwork of Vishwarupa. First, I invite Manjunath Kamant on stage. Manjunath Kamant works in diverse mediums painting, drawing, digital art, and terracotta. In 2015, the SCAD Museum of Art, Swana hosted its solo show. The Art Institute of Chicago, Museum of Sacred Art in Belgium, Kiran Nader Museum of Art and National Gallery of Modern Art, New Delhi, have his work in their collections. He is also a part of Ojas Arts Expressions at Tihar, Freedom to March and Conferences of the Birds. Bajusham is a gaunt artist whose best known work, The London Jungle Book, is a visual travelogue of his 2002 visit to London. He is the first gaunt artist to be conferred with Padmashiri, and he has been a part of 20 books which have cumulatively sold 100,000 copies. S Santosh Kumar Das works are in the Art Institute of Chicago, Ethnic Art Foundation USA, Mary C. Linnaeus Collection, Denver, and Devi Art Foundation, Delhi. His best work is the Gujarat series. In 2017, Tara Books published Black, his autobiographical style book. In 2019, he had his first show in India titled Rerooted Realities, 
create, uh, curated by Catherine Mays. B.N. Goswami is India's leading art historian and professor emeritus of art history at Punjab University, Chandigarh. He has received numerous awards, the Padma Shri and the Padma Bhushan from the President of India. So let's welcome the artists on stage and B.N. Goswamiji for the conversation with the artists. Over to you. Thank you very much. May I share a couple of minutes of my private experience with having had a conversation with the three distinguished gentlemen sitting next to me. I don't belong to the privileged community of artists. I know a little bit about art. I certainly am interested. But in the course of the conversation we had prior to coming into this particular place, two things struck me immediately. This collaborative effort, the like of which you may never have seen before, is not only a question of three people working together, but it's a question basically of three egos being submerged into one particular work. You know, when we are at a place like the Jaipur Literary Festival, then we are surrounded by egos. Everyone is, you know, I'm the creme de la creme, I am so-and-so, I am so-and-so. But it was extraordinary, these gentlemen who are distinguished, each of them in their own right, in their own profession, how they were able to grow into each other, how they were able to submerge their own identities, how they were able, in a certain sense, to get into each other's minds. Vishwarupa is not an easy subject to tackle. Vishwarupa is a Vishwarupa, a universal phenomenon, an apparition, if you like. And each of them brings their own understanding to this particular extraordinary theme, which is probably unique to India, unique as a product of the thought of India. But be prepared to see this extraordinary effort. You know, what is it that the great Mirza Ghalib said, Bakshe hai jalwa hai gul, zauk hai tamasha Ghalib. Chashm ko chahiye har rang mein wa ho jana. That it is the beauty of the flower which gives you the desire to know more and more and so on. Therefore, it is imperative that we keep our eyes open in all situations in all circumstances. Bakshi, it's a bakshish from up there. But enough of myself or my experience. These gentlemen, these extraordinary talents that we have present here at this particular moment worked on the Vishwarup for a very, very long time, grew into each other and in a certain sense they submerge themselves in this extraordinary undertaking. Let me begin with Manjunath Kaumat, distinguished contemporary artist. And he doesn't see himself as a mentor. Mr. Baju Sham, you have already been introduced to him, a distinguished painter of the Gon tradition, Madhya Pradesh, and Santosh Das, the master of Madhubani style, inventor and interpreter, innovator, and everything rolled into one. May I begin by asking you, each one of them, to just take about two minutes to share with the audience, how did you come to this? 
how did this all begin and what role did you play in this entire thing? Hello. Um, initially, Mr. Anubhav came to my studio and he shared a certain kind of, a, like, uh, as a contemporary artist, you have to work with other two. Uh, one is from Madhubani art and one is from Gond art. You have to work with them. It's a kind of mentoring them. I said, like, um, I don't believe in mentoring. And uh, even though I don't believe in hierarchies of art, or uh, kind of like, I see contemporary thing in everything, even in Madhubani or Gond or this contemporary, this demarcation made by certain kind of uh, a commercial aspect, maybe. Otherwise, uh, there's no demarcation. I have to learn from them and uh, may they learn from my style. And I, we can say this, it's only a kind of three styles. And in my work, I explore uh, images or uh, kind of style or skill learning from different, uh, even from uh, uh, Mysore style, because I studied in Mysore. And uh, I was very much fascinated with the, the gold which used in Mysore painting. And in contemporary art, that was completely a kind of uh, uh, denied or, I mean, you are using gold means it's like you are making work beautiful and beautiful word is a negated word in contemporary. So I was questioning that word, like why beauty is, is negated in art? Like what is beauty? That was my first question. And that time, like when I was, I mean, when we were studying in art college, that was completely Western oriented. Like we hardly know about our own art forms rather than like learning about uh, Western art. And those were like kind of Bible for contemporary art. Yeah. And uh, it's very sad that uh, in our own contemporary artists hardly know about own, uh, the idea of uh, Indian art and Indian craft and Indian traditional art. And the more kind of focus is on Western and the Western platform. It's a kind of uh, slowly you are catering to a Western world. Like you, know, you have to participate in Western shows or international shows. So my thing was like, you know, why? I mean, is maybe is how I grown up with, like, you know, because initially I always say, uh, temple and churches are my museums because when I grown up, when I was a kid, we hardly know about any museum. You know, this that was my museum, the temple and churches. Like you know, even uh, doing all this performance puja is a kind of uh, a kind of everyday art. You know, the garland and how they decorate the things. Like so, that is the a kind of. Uh, engagement with uh, Indian bone art and then uh, so I respected them it's like I mean it's not like the contemporary art is big or I mean this is a very cliched word in a way like contemporary art and uh, other craft and other art like. so then I started with like uh, we have started this work with then I we were thinking about like what kind of subject we can choose so first thing what comes into my mind is Vishwarupa. So you can accumulate everything in that, good, bad, or anything. Because, and again, I still remember like when I was a kid, I was looking, grown up with the calendar of Vishwarupa in my uncle's house. So those in kids' mind, that's like uh, the side faces with fire. That was fascinating thing. Like, you know, what is this fire from mouth? It's coming out. So I was every day, whenever I watching these, uh, calendar, I look into new things, like searching for a new thing. The angry faces, the Vishnu, everything is there, accumulated there. So first, they come to my studio and we were discussing about like what can we do with and how can we start with image. The first thing was like Vishwarupa. Then uh, I was talking to Baju and he came up with this own story. Even in Gond, they have a idea of uh, universe, creation. So better he explain that story from his first thing. I Hindi. I will say 
करीबन 25 26 साल से काम कर रहा हूँ लेकिन हम लोग स्टोरियों में काम करते हैं जैसे धरती की उत्पत्ति कैसी हुई चांद सूरज की उत्पत्ति कैसी हुई पेड़ पौधे की उत्पत्ति कैसी हुई आदमी का जन्म कैसे हुआ इनमें हम लोग ज़्यादातर काम करते हैं और स्केच करते हैं और सोचते हैं कि शायद ऐसा रहा होगा ऐसा रहा होगा और धरती की भी बात करते हैं आकाश हवा पानी जल पेड़ पौधों की बात करते हैं और उसमें हम लोग पेंटिंग करते हैं आ, लेकिन मंजू जी से हमें जी से आ, पहली बार हमको सीखने को मिला कि मंजू जी जब स्टार्ट कर रहे थे काम तो मुझे समझ में नहीं आ रहा था ये बनेगा कैसे ये क्या होगा मुझे आइडिया नहीं आ रहा था क्योंकि हमने उस समय स्केच करके हम काम करते हैं मंजू जी डायरेक्ट लाइन कर देते सीधा काला कलर से निकाले और उसी के अंदर आ, आ, वो एक पट्टी टाइप का बनते गया और मुझे आइडिया नहीं आ रहा था लेकिन जब करते गए करते गए और मेरे आ, उसी में मेरे आ, हवा आ गया उसी में मेरे जल देवता आ गया मुझे जलहारिन माता आ गया सारा चीज़ उसी में आ, सोचने लगे और मैं देखा कि ये ये भी बना सकता हूँ ये भी बना सकता हूँ और आ, हम मैंने उसको बनाने की कोशिश किया जो भी आ, हमने किया है लेकिन आ, इसके बाद में सोचता हूँ कि इसको और बना सकते हैं उसमें अभी और होने की ज़रूरत है और ऐसा कोई कमी नहीं है मतलब इसमें और कर सकते हैं ऐसा मुझे लगा उसमें और आगे चलेगा और आगे अगर हम और बनाएंगे तो मैं सोच रहा हूँ कि इसको हम और और चीज़ बनाएंगे जो इसमें दिखाई नहीं दे रहा है When Anubhav first told me oh, we are going to meet an artist, I was very excited because, as always, I am very very excited about about anything. So we went to Manjuna's house, and uh, then we all sat down together, and then the discussion began. So he uh, told a lot about about choosing an idea, a subject for the painting, and then uh, we thought. if we choose a subject where we can express our thoughts or feelings very independently very freely that could be a better idea and that's how we got up you know stumble upon upon this idea of bisharu in this uh, subject we are we are very free we can say anything we can talk about any particular feeling or any you know the materialistic world the spiritual world anything which you know so this element of freedom is very important uh, for everyone and as an artist i liked it very much because i felt it's beautiful to you know to uh, to share my sense of freedom uh, through this subject and that's how we decided to choose it as a subject and it was a very nice experience because uh, when you work with uh, with the other you have to be very careful and at times you have to be very human also because there are a lot of things which you have inside so you have to keep them aside and keep your mind open then you can work with the other this experience was very enriching as a human being and an artist also very enriching because uh man uh, bhajuj a motive of fire i like very much because he often paints nature so there is an animal porcupine which as you know uh you know very uh, which has lots of thorns on its body i love that uh, that image of that animal so i just uh, you know imagine that krishna is not holding a mountain on his fingertip he is holding a porcupine and that was a beautiful moment for me so basically it uh, it is a very uh, good experience for me working with these two artists so wonderful experience and that way you just merge uh, you know you just merge with each other this is beautiful and you grow through this this i like very much very much and when i saw the final painting i always say it could be the right logo for incredible india it can go everywhere it's so beautiful it's stunning really stunning so this is wonderful experience very wonderful thank you no <coughs> Let me be my talking about. We were having a conversation. Santoshi said, 
I feel absolutely free when I start a work like this, complete freedom. Now that is the privilege of an artist and I happen to, to share with them a saying by a great Sufi saint, Bhuvali Shah Kalandar, who's from Panipat in the Punjab, and now Haryana. And he said some, something like this, and just pay attention to this. It's a very simple line. Bhuvali Shair Shuddhi, Sahir Shuddhi. Bhuvali says to himself or to others, if you have become a poet, you have become a magician. You can create anything that you like without restraint, without constraint. So this business of becoming free, completely losing all sense of restriction, constraint, boundaries and so on and so forth, is something that I think these gentlemen experienced while they were working. One question which occurs to me at this time. This is all in black and white, yes. right? Now ordinarily when you think of Vishnu, right? You think of his the skin of his, the complexion of his skin, blue, right? Now that blue says something. You know, when we, the opening line of the Vishnu Sahasranam Stotra, Vishvam Vishnu Vashatkaro Bhut Bhavya Bhavat Prabhu Bhut Krid Bhut Vrid Bhavo Bhut Atma Bhut Bhavna and so on like this. Now many people have wondered why Krishna or the avatars of Vishnu Bhagavan are blue in color. The very first two words give the answer. Actually a long time ago an American scholar said Vishnu Krishna is blue because he was born as a blue baby or whatever. Now that is an invention. But he's blue, Vishwam Vishnu, since the entire universe is concentrated in one particular figure. The color of the atmosphere is blue. Blue. Right? That is what the seems that the, the meaning of this whole thing is in a certain sense. Now did you feel when you were working the absence of color? Uh, hello. Yeah. Uh, first thing, when we started this work, we were uh, more clear on like lines, like you know, because drawing has a kind of power. Anything, and uh, if you see the three art forms, the major part is like strong lines. And everything stays saying with the very limited colors. Like you know, initially we thought about like you know, we will add some color, the tinge of red, as you said. Then we thought like you know, because this is a kind of challenge we can take like without using any color, it's just black and white. How you convey like because that is another challenge of like saying everything with one line, the basic drawing. Because even in art, who is I mean this is the first idea of drawing, like who is very good at drawing, he is the best artist and mm -hmm. kind of like, I mean, drawing is the very basic thing, like he can convey something with just a drawing, like minimal lines, there is strong work. So somewhere and everything is imaginary end of the day, like you know, within that line I can see blue and everything, you know. And again as you said, like where the idea of Vishnu in a blue, a kind of ananta, mm -hmm. the space. Mm -hmm. So that the same thing we conveyed with the space where we left the space and I still remember uh, you always say about uh, the idea of space like uh, uh, how sannyasi uh, this thing yeah 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 right. so, he playing, yeah, yeah, yeah. so playing with the space yeah so it's a kind of like within that limited color, just a drawing, black ink, you are conveying so many things, like with the, I mean, talking about space and images, and here, uh, initially when we started this image, like, uh, we, the, how we generated this image at the same time, like in uh, Madhubani, they used two lines for border, 
mm-hmm. which is Shiv and Shakti, they call. Like, you know, everything generated through male and female uh, kind of union. So that how they uh, use the two lines as a Shiva and Shakti and that universe oh, yeah. becomes. And similarly, as I said, like, and they also have a kind of stories of universe. So then we thought, like, you know, and especially uh, Santosh Kumar's, the, the whole work is more kind of like black and he always like, I like black. Yeah. Yeah. And so we thought, like, you know, it's better to limit it to a, only black and white. So we'll play within that. Wow. Yeah. Well, another thing that I would like, Bajuji, you have to ask now. आपने इस दौरान अब जब काम करते रहे तो कुछ सीखा कुछ इसके मैंने वो सीखा तो जरूर हाँ लेकिन by moving away certain to a certain extent इधर से उधर का आपने कुछ खोया भी नहीं सर मैं सीखा सीखा मैंने मैं मंजू जी का जो बनाने का तरीका है बदल बनाने का तरीका नदी बनाने का तरीका और फ्री हाथ जो डर था उनके साथ मेरा डर निकल गया काम करने में कोई डर नहीं हम जब बनाते हैं पेंटिंग बनाते हैं तो कुछ सोचते हैं कि इसका रूप कैसे देंगे इसमें कैसे होगा आगे क्या करेंगे फिर इसका कहानी बताएंगे ये लेकिन इस विश्व रूप में बनाने के बाद मुझे लगा कि इसमें तो कुछ भी हम बना सकते हैं जैसे हमारे जो स्टोरियाँ हैं राजाओं की स्टोरियाँ हैं भगवान की धरती की और पेड़ पौधों की ये तो हम बना सकते हैं लेकिन उसमें भी हम स्केच करते हैं ना सोचते हैं कि क्या रोक देंगे लेकिन मंजू जी के साथ करने से डर निकला और हम उन्होंने एक फ्री लाइन और बदलों को वो एक अपने आँखों से जो देखता है और नदियों को जो अपने आँखों से देखता है नहरों को आग को तो उसमें हमें भी वो सीखने को मिला शायद हम जब बनाएंगे तो मैं शायद अपने रूप से उसको देख पाऊंगा उनकी आंखों से जो उन्होंने देखा वो मैं शायद मैं भी अपने आंखों से अलग से देख पाऊंगा और वो बना के एक कुछ कर पाऊंगा ऐसा मुझे लगा यार आई वांट टू टेल वन मोर थिंग लेकिन एज ही सेड कि ही पंजू जी से वो जो फ्रीनेस देखा एंड वेन आई लुक एट हिस्स वर्क आई ऑलवेज थिंक दैट itna without fearing when he draws like somewhere maybe i am thinking more when i start my work you know because i always uh, kind of uh, when i start my work so always there is a ego you know as you said so you have to kill your ego then only you can create something and somewhere you have to train yourself i mean you have to believe that i mean always believe that i am not making it because if i am the owner of that painting then whatever i am making it should be good that is not in my hand i always spoil my work then there is one thing is clear that you are not making it you are just a kind of vehicle and that has to that painting has to burn so you always when you start your work you always you have to kill your ego like an i am doing it and i am the owner so if you are doing it then you still conscious when you lose your conscious and going somewhere like in a kind of a, it in hindi says like alagi duniya like you are not here and you are in a kind of trance you know you don't know and i always tell him when i say like my father used to say ki ek bar isko kaam karne ke liye baitha hai khana peena kuch bhi nahi chahiye and we don't remember that like where we are you know sometime uh, my wife calls me and i suddenly khana khaya and, and suddenly i forgot to tell what time is this she says 5 o'clock khana nahi khaya abhi tak so we we forget everything that stage we want and somewhere we want to go to such an extent that what we are doing for us it should be a kind of wonder so a kind of uh negating all boundaries whatever boundaries comes you negate that and you are i mean negating and breaking that boundaries and reaching somewhere mm-hmm. and somewhere you are find yourself in a kind of wonder that is all practices even for i mean for example this painting also we were while we were working on this we were sitting on that painting standing on that painting and doing that line you know it's a kind of like you are uh, on a glow 
and doing that, and you can't make out like in a, when you are in a globe, you can't make out it's a circle a round. Yeah, yeah. So to see that round, you have to go away from that. Similarly, what happens here, like when yesterday I came in, saw this painting, like said for me, it's a kind of wonder, you know, right. looking at that from outside. I mean, I you, you know, Madhubani tradition, jo hai, initially it was on the walls, kachi divaro ke upar hoti thi, right? And mostly women were involved in that. From that to shift to paper was a critical kind of a thing. That, that we all know, right? It must have been very difficult because to move from one scale to the other, one background, one material to the other and so on, could not have been easy for the tradition. From being an individual artist, working on, you know, whatever themes you choose on, to becoming a part of a collaboration could have been another critical thing as far as you are concerned. Am I right? Um, or was it simple? Uh, uh, look, I take everything very simply. So to me it was fun. And I take everything very simply. I'm a very simple man and I love challenges. So when uh, I was told I have to work like this, it was just fun, it was pure fun. And then things began to unfold. Yeah. Then we got to know more things about it, about the subject. We began to learn from each other. And I think I celebrated every moment of it. It's not a... You know, one thing which is quite remarkable, and I like you to, I mean, to, for us to pay attention to, this whole thing was masterminded to begin with by Anubhav. Anubhav was a sutradhar, but he absented himself, a kind of an invisible sutradhar, mm -hmm. if there can be anyone, and so on like that, and so on. So the freedom, the complete freedom that was given to these distinguished gentlemen, and he picked them with great care. He knew each one's work, and then after having picked this, do this in your own fashion. No, no monitoring, no direction, nothing of the kind. So this is really, I mean, from a basic weather kind of fashion, a truly collaborative effort. You know, when we are talking to these gentlemen, artists, how they think, it's very difficult to fathom what is going on inside the artist. The interstices of the mind through which we are getting some little insight into the whole thing is, I think, is a wonderful thing. I mean, I personally find it very exciting that we have had the chance to hear you. We have had the chance to have a private conversation. And may I say, I'm very grateful that I was given this opportunity to interact with you and with the audience. Thank you very much indeed. For Manjunath Kamant, Bajusham, and Santosh Kumar, it's a collaborative work, but they never sat together to work on this artwork. And today, it's the first time like they have come. They haven't signed the artwork, which is outside. So the complete artwork they will be signing now once they finish the session here. And all of you got this on your chair. So actually, inside... When you open it, it's the artwork. So I think, I mean, for me, it's really lovely. I'll get it framed and, you know, go with the memory at the Jaipur Literature Festival, you know, having a conversation session with the artists. So we are really blessed to have them here. And three cheers for Ojas Art also to actually empowering these artists. And now I would invite uh, Anubhav to give the first signed edition to B.N. Goswamiji. Been, it's okay. We can ignore it for now. Anubhav? <laughs> it's, 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 it's from all of us. To it's from the artists, from Ojasat, a first signed edition of Vishwarupa 
to Siri B. N. Goswami Ji. Dere <laughs> Dere